Hello, in part 1 I have showed you how to remove the battery of MacBook Pro A1342. This time I will be removing all other parts like the hard drive, the optical drive, the logic board, and the DC jack. Now I am removing the plastic bracket that holds the hard drive to the bottom chassis. The hard drive has still a flat ribbon uh, wire attached to the logic board. There is an anchor screw there. You have to remove that as well. The anchor screw is attached to the plastic base before you uh, pry the uh, connector. As you can see, I'm still using that uh, small parts organizer method uh, that I have uh, been sharing with you guys. So as long as you're religiously employing that method, I don't think you will have a hard time putting this uh, machine back uh, or any, any machine back in place. At this time, I will be removing another uh, plastic strip just right at the edge where the hinge is located. You have to remove this plastic uh, strip because this holds the logic board in place. If you don't take this out, you cannot remove the optical drive as well as the logic board. So now I will be removing the optical drive connector that is the ribbon connector that uh, covers the fan so that I have easy access to remove the fan as well. The optical drive has a is attached to the to the chassis so I have to remove those screws that hold it uh, to the base, uh, I mean to the plastic. Including the antenna wires connected to the wireless card. There will be some more screws I would suggest you put uh, another adhesive tape just for the optical drive so that you will not be confused when you put back with all the um, assortment of screws there so I'm holding right now the plastic um, assembly that houses the speakers and the wireless card. There's also a metal bracket that holds the optical drive to the logic board. You might as well remove that. There are still two other screws by the ends of the plastic case that you have to remove before taking out the optical drive.
please notice how I organize the screws that is so very important okay so I just remove the optical drive and at the same time I will be removing the parts from it just like this plastic strip I mentioned earlier actually this is um, the plastic that houses or holds the speaker and the Wi-Fi and uh, right now I am removing this connector that connects to the logic board and there's also a metal bracket so I just um, showed you that those parts should be uh, replaced or uh, put back to the new optical if you if you uh, wanted to replace your optical drive uh, and make sure that you replace it with the exact part number if you wanted to know where to buy these uh, parts you may want to visit my website uh, I fix it easy.com and there should be a link there to the suppliers um, website or uh, auction site now I'm, I'm putting back those parts to their original position now I will continue removing some more connectors and screws from the logic board I will be using this dental knife this is actually my favorite tool you can use uh, any plastic uh, pointed tool to um, remove those uh, connectors just make sure you don't yank them because they're so uh, brittle and um, if you damage them it's, it's just hard to uh, procure the same uh, connector right now I'm working on the video uh, connector there is a an adhesive tape that I just removed and then um, also release the lock that secures it to the logic board it's a little bit stuck so I'm, I'm working A little more time here so once you unlocked it I just uh, took the locked out just uh, lift it and then uh, pull the connector out Yeah, that's uh, this is the lock right now. I I just um, mentioned. Okay, so let me continue with some other connectors as well. this is the connector for the touchpad and right now I am working on the keyboard connector there's a lock all you have to do is just um, release it and then um, remove the yeah I'm holding the keyboard connector and then uh, yeah that, that's the keyboard connector um, now this is the connector for the fan actually there are about 10 connectors um, including the fan connector on the logic board so remove all of them I will be right now I will take out the three Phillips screws on the fan so that I can remove it and then clean it
Okay, let me focus on the uh, screw organizing technique I share. I'm I'm always sharing with you guys. You know what the screw organizing or the small parts organizing um, method I I um, I am sharing with you is is the basics or the foundation um, on how to disassemble any machine. So if you religiously follow uh, what I shared with you, then most likely you don't need to watch all the other videos from. Um, uh, from um, other uh, sources except that uh, it's just uh, sometimes common sense okay so I just removed the fan make sure there's no dust um, on the vent and uh, you can use a air duster to blow off those dust away before replacing it back to the uh, machine Okay, so now let me remove uh, some more screws. There, there are star screws, T3, T8, and uh, Phillips screws all over. So you might as well prepare for those uh, screwdrivers, precision screwdrivers. I didn't me mention all the types of screws because this is... Um, common sense if you see a star then it's a star drill if you see a cross slot then it's a Phillips um, what I emphasize what I more uh, emphasize is on the technique on how to organize those screws because that's the most important thing right now I my technique also is to mark the, sc the screws where I, I took them from aside from using those uh, small parts organizing uh, method I I use a digital camera I use an ink marker especially where I, I took out the, the those uh, important screws um, to be honest with you when I replace all my laptops I never miss a screw any single screw because I use this technique so I am sharing this with you guys so that um, it will be uh, every time I, I say this it, disassembly and reassembly will be fun uh, for anyone who wishes to uh, open the, the machine right now when I pull out the logic board I didn't pull it uh, all the way because there's still a, a mag uh, connector that is the um, magnetic uh, jack that connects to the logic board so just be careful not to yank it too soon uh, you n may not damage any part there so this is the logic board right now I just um, took it out and um, that's the uh, correct part number if you want to replace the logic board make sure you got the correct part number when you purchase from the motherboard supplier um, one of the reasons why the machine or the laptop is uh, slow or um, overheats is that the thermal paste in between the CPU and the heatsink is um, no longer effective. Ineffective in a, in a sense that um, you know as time goes the uh, thermal paste dries up so the um, the transfer of heat from the CPU to the heatsink is compromised and that is the reason why you always experience overheating especially when you touch your laptop it's sometimes uh, not a normal heat that you, uh, you feel um, all you have to do is um, remove the old thermal paste and replace it with new one. So right now I am removing those um, old dried up thermal uh, compound 
and then replace it with a uh, a good uh, good one i usually um use the uh, silver compound uh, silver paste and i clean it with this uh a brake cleaner only in the metal portion or the cpu as well as the heat sink please don't use the auto brake cleaner uh, with your uh, plastic body as um, that may uh, cause damage to and if you want to know more tips about this video you may want to visit my website ifixiteasy.com and I will show you where to buy uh, MacBook parts from a reputable comp uh, company or supplier at a very competitive price. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I give you some insights. Bye.